It's such an honor and joy to now have driven, thoughtful climate activists carefully listen to and powerfully read my poem. At its core, turning back revolves around power dynamics. Although the commonly used phrase, Mother Earth, implies we, humans, are the children, turning back alternates between calling Earth mother and calling Earth child. We often hold the power, but of course, in response, the Earth, through storms and droughts and fires, still holds a great deal of power over us. This poem, Turning Back, often gets caught on the question of, would we treat our actual mothers and our actual children like this. What a hollow harmony this has been. We do not treat our children, our metal, our phones with such redundancy, dipped in scorn. But the world, the world, that large muted body that is curling, crushing, curtailing in on itself, that is allegedly mother, has been maimed. I hope that turning back resonates with the climate grief many of us feel but also catalyzes the forward motion that all of us need. Now is not the time to give up. We can't turn back, but we can of course move forward. The question is, when we move forward, will we stride or will we crawl? That's up to us. And now is the time to choose. I think that this poem really gives us a choice of what world we want to build. So I just want to really thank Emily for putting together such a wonderful story and piece of art. She wrote this about six, seven years ago, and this poem is still relevant, and we shouldn't let that happen. And my dream is that in six years, it won't be relevant anymore, that we will have come together and we will have imagined and created a bigger, better climate, community that actually pushes forward climate solutions.